we're gonna be looking at the Rainbow High Fantastic Fashion Line. It took me a while to find all these ladies. Where's Poppy, you may ask? Right here in this busted box from Amazon. Some of them came from MGA, some of them came from Amazon, and some of them came from Target. Like this Amaya. The storyline in the animated series that revealed this line, when did that air? Like in 2022? I don't even remember. It feels like a very long time ago. I didn't think we were actually ever gonna get dolls of this line. And here they are finally out. So close look at the packaging. Obviously this is the back of the packaging. It simply says this semester's Project Runway Fashion Competition is original, innovative, and totally fabulous. My favorite looks as they were animated uh, were actually these three ladies in the middle, Sunny Jade and Skylar. The side of the packaging still reveals their school focus. Amaya is fashion design. Surprisingly, they all come with second outfits and an accessory sketchbook depicting their fashion runway outfit. I got a ton of dolls here to unbox, so let's get to it. So here are all the ladies in rainbow order out of the packaging. There's a lot of great detail here and some inconsistency as well, which is weird, but I'll get into that. First off, they all come with, of course, their color coordinating doll stands, their color coordinating comb, their color coordinating sketch pads and writing utensils, which are very tiny. Each sketch pad is a solid piece of plastic that opens on a hinge, uh, can lay flat, and depicts the illustrations of the characters' various costumes in the fashion show. Now, when I talked about inconsistencies, I mean, for example, that Skylar and Amaya are the only two that came with handbags. This is Skylar's. Obviously, it's like the shape of a rounded corner triangle. It has this blue strap. It has a little silver R charm, faux clasps. Here's a little H charm on the faux zipper. It doesn't open, but it's a nice solid faux leather piece with the RH in the front. And then Amaya's is this faux white leather. It's also very solid, but it does open. It has a little Velcro closure. You can see the interior is plastic and then it's covered in this faux leather material. It has this metallic detail along the edging and the clasp, little RH strap and um, that rainbow colored stitching that is kind of a Maya signature. Both these purses are really cute and just kind of weird that only two of the dolls come with purses. Also, only two of the dolls come with earrings. Sunny and Jade both have earrings. They're really pretty. Sunny's is like a teardrop gem with some gold chain detail. This looks similar to one we've seen before, but I can't remember off the top of my head. And then Jade is kind of like a little gemstone with chain detail and stars and a lightning bolt. I mean, of course, it's really in keeping with their theme. Jade's being lightning and Sunny's being rain. All of the other dolls have pierced ears, but do not come with earrings. And I think it's most glaring on Amaya and violet because their hair is swept up. So it's very obvious they're not wearing earrings. And I think it's weird. I think they should have come with earrings. So let's get into the individual dolls. So here's Ruby and she is wearing kind of athleisure inspired gown, I guess. She is wearing a black knit, you know, ski cap or beanie with a fishnet veil. It does come tagged to her head. I did remove it just so we could get a better look at her eye makeup. She has the shimmer effect on her face and a deep red lip. I think there's a variant of this doll with even a darker colored lip. But again, I never found these dolls in store. I had to order them all. Of course, all these dolls have their inset eyes and some very dramatic eye makeup. I really like the outline here. It's really cool. She has her signature red hair. It does need some hair help coming out crunchy, but not terrible. If you're not into washing your doll's hair, you could get away with displaying her without doing anything. So this outfit is two pieces, so I guess it's not technically a gown, but her top is kind of a black cotton sleeveless, almost mock turtleneck style 
with this red lacing going down the front and then a black belt detail. I just noticed one of the belt loops is not sewn properly, not attached at the bottom, but this is a faux belt. It's all attached and it Velcros in the back, as does her skirt, which is one piece. It's made to look like a track jacket tied around her waist, but obviously it's a full length skirt. So the zipper is used to almost form like a heart shape in the front. So then she has this real black belt, which is removable. If you were to loop it, not only through the belt loops, but also through these giant gold pieces that say rainbow and sparkle, you'd have to loop the belt through all of that to get the belt out. And also the tracksuit is like this cotton material, but then the skirt has these kind of creped ruffles layers making kind of a train. Her shoes are gold and red, and this pattern molded into the heel and the sole. She has long red nails with gold tips. Just a lot of detail in her outfit and a very interesting design. I really love the concept. This is her second outfit. Oh, and I wanted to mention that while they all come with second outfits, they only come with one pair of shoes, the shoes that they're wearing. So it's a very basic red satiny kind of slip dress with little ribbon straps. Very basic, but the best part is the leather jacket. I love, well, it's a faux leather jacket. I love all the detail on this faux leather jacket. They've got flames on the sleeve, a lot of buckle detail, faux zipper detail, all of these little stud embellishments. It is lined in the back with a little satin lining and then in the front, like the lapels are more of the faux leather. It's just a really cute outfit. Obviously the dress is super simple, but the jacket makes it for me. Now we have Poppy. This may be my favorite outfit for Poppy of all time. I've never loved any of Poppy's outfits. I think the butterfly theme is just like way too literal in everything she wears, except for this one. This one, I love the literal execution of the butterfly. This gown is Gorgeous. We have multiple layers of butterfly wing train with all these kind of crystal embellishments. It's across the bodice at the top. It also comes around the back. It's tied around the neck as well as Velcroed. But it's basically like she's wrapped in butterfly wings. I think it's beautiful and adorable. She has little butterfly clips in her hair. Again, not perfect coming out of the packaging, a lot of product in just certain sections, making it look kind of chunky and unkempt, but I think this is a very easy fix. You might not even have to wash it, just a little water. She also has longer orangey nails with little yellow tips or light orange tips. Her shoes are really cute, gold, plastic wraparound kind of ribbon detail and little tiny butterflies. It's really cute, like just really, really cute. She also has the shimmer face. I guess I don't mind the shimmer face as much with this runway line, but I still don't love it. Her eye makeup is gorgeous. Dotted pattern in her eyeshadow. And of course, little freckles in her orange lip. Just very lovely, honestly, beautiful. Her second outfit is very basic, but well-made. Uh, it's a little matching skirt and top. Very structured, which is nice. A little faux zipper detail and all these little sparklies sequin attached. It's a really nice effect. But it very simple, like no accessories. I know her gown is very detailed, so I don't I don't know. It's real weird how they who they decided to give additional accessories to and who they didn't. I really don't understand the thought process, but this is cute. Next, we have Sunny, who will forever and always be my favorite. I don't even mind the shimmer on her face. Her hair, really cute. She's got two pigtails, basically, in a pretty design. We have braided detail here in the front and in the back, which I really like. Long hair that needs a little bit of washing and brush out to get some of the product out of there so it lays smoother. Again, we've got long nails. These ones look like solid yellow. Her makeup is slightly understated compared to the last two girls we looked at, uh, but you know, it fits Sunny. Love her earrings, as I pointed out, with the kind of raindrop working with her umbrella 
inspired outfit. It actually came with a little diagram to let you know that this should open somehow. From being in the box, it's really pushed in in the back, but it's very cute. Kind of crystal raindrops hanging down, this raincoat type material. It does want to slip a little. Feels like she should have had something holding it up a little bit better. But I love the design of this outfit. And her shoes are kind of mimicking like a rain boot, like a clear rain boot, except they are peep toe. So Sunny's second outfit is made entirely of series one repeats. Uh, this is a yellow version of series one Violet's dress. And this is a yellow version of series one Poppy's jacket. I'm not saying it's not cute. I don't know if I love these two pieces together. Separately, they're cute. Eh, I guess that's okay. I don't know, but why does she get both repeat pieces? <laughs> we couldn't give her one new piece? I don't know. They're still cute. I like that I have more clothes for Sunny. This doesn't really feel like Sunny though, this sequins dress. This doesn't feel like Sunny at all. The jacket, totally, but not this dress. Next we have Jade also came with instructions because this green overlay part of her dress, which is made of plastic, is glow in the dark. Again, we've got the shimmer face, but I love her eye makeup. She has a black lip. Her hair is in a very long ponytail down her back, and she has various hair clips. This over skirt, or whatever you want to call it, uh, this does come off pretty easily. It's just little plastic things in the back holding it on. Let me take it off so you can get a closer look at the dress underneath. So Jade's dress, still really cool, even without that glow-in-the-dark plastic overlay. It's one dress in two layers, so it's all attached as one piece. This silver oversized fishnet with these little silver charms of stars and lightning bolts attached on the front and the back, which I like. Always love that they have detail on both sides. The under dress, little slip dress, satiny black, really basic. Your nails, it looks like they're green with maybe silver tips. And of course her boots. Her boots are amazing. Huge, chunky heel, faux leather boots, all like actual fabric, no plastic, with lace detail. So these boots lace up and buckle. Jade's second outfit is this black hoodie. It's a faux hoodie. This looks very similar to, I think it was Emmy's outfit, or one of her outfits. Uh, obviously it's slightly different. This one's black. Faux necklace detail that's like embroidered onto a sweatshirt says boss over um, rainbow and green. And there's even a little bit of crystal detail. So it is different, but it's the same concept. And then her skirt, really cool. A lot of details on the skirt. This faux, what is this, like alligator or something? With the faux zippers, Velcro's in the back. Very stiff structured material, but also very jade. Next we have Skylar, who may be my favorite. I love this concept of denim as a gown. I don't know why. I love the way it looks in doll form. This execution is great as far as I'm concerned. And I love her hair. So 10 points for Skylar. Again, shimmer face. They all have shimmer faces. Love her kind of smoky eye, like a navy blue smoky eye. Shimmery pink lip. Love her hair. Love Skylar with curly hair. This is reminiscent of the Winter Break doll, which is my favorite Skylar doll. It's great coming out of the packaging. I don't think I need to do a thing to it. Blue long nails. Love it. Now look at this dress, this kind of mermaid style dress, but all in denim. We've got all this like attached shimmery stud detail. They look like little tiny crystals, a little belt uh, that is part of the dress. Jean back pockets, so cute. All the like 
gold stitching that you see in denim, another little pocket down here. It's a little wrinkly coming out of the package. There's a whiskering detail. These are her shoes. They actually look almost purpley in color. They do, they look purple in person. This kind of italicized RH as the heel. That's really cool. The straps are very delicate looking. I almost forgot she's got all these little kind of crystally clips in her hair, like gems and pearls. I guess maybe Skylar came with a handbag because her second outfit is just one piece, but it's a really cool piece. It looks like a pair, two pairs of jeans were turned upside down to make a dress. I like her second outfit a lot. Next we have Violet who has like glitter run amok on her face. You can see that she's got glitter on her nose. Her hair is her signature purple colors, but it's a pretty messy ponytail in the back. But I do in general like the way it's styled. It just looks messy, so I, I need to fix it a little bit. She also has little clips in her hair, like silver bobby pins with kind of pearl detail. She's got glittery makeup, glitter on her nose, pretty pink lip. I almost didn't get Violet because at first I did not like her outfit until I saw more close-up pictures and then I realized it's kind of like a flapper dress and then I was into it. We've got it completely coated in kind of this little pearl detail. I love the texture effect that it puts on the dress as well as the detail on the straps and these tiny fabric feathers. It's these details that make it for me. Fits the doll perfectly. It's just very well executed in doll form. And then her shoes, they're okay. A lot of whatever this is, crystal detail, kind of a jelly purple. I absolutely think she should have come with earrings and the fact that she doesn't mean she was robbed. Her nails are kind of a gray purple and on my doll, they're actually painted rather poorly. Her second outfit is this little slip dress that's kind of a somewhat stretchy, shimmery material. I feel like we've seen this dress before. It looks different than the slip dress that Ruby came with because of the little gathering in the front, but it still looks familiar. And then she came with this cute little white fur jacket so fuzzy furry and it is lined with a satiny material inside so clearly the jacket again is what makes this outfit and finally we have Amaya who I wasn't gonna buy because of the tinsel in her hair but then I got over it and bought her anyway because I'm a sucker again shimmer face she has a very long ponytail and the tinsels underneath again this girl should have earrings Look at her poor naked ears. But I love her lip color, very pretty. Do any of the other Amayas have this lip color? No, none of the other Amayas have this lip color. I love this lip color on her. It's very pretty. Like it way better than that one. This one's okay. But yeah, that lip color is definitely the best on her. This one's pretty cute on junior high Amaya though. So Amaya's gown, I guess, is mermaid shape. Uh, it is all one piece with multiple layers. Underneath is a short kind of dress layer that's a satiny white material. Then she's got the rainbow gauzy overlayer that goes from top to bottom. Then she has this pleated, shimmery, transparent layer on top of that with the silver belt. I mean, it's effective. I think, it's pretty. It's not my favorite, but it's pretty. Uh, she came with bracelets. Why did they give her bracelets and not earrings? I have no idea. Just give her the earrings, forget the bracelet. Her shoes, honestly, I'm kind of glad they're hidden by the skirt. Don't love these shoes. Rainbow, rainbow, rainbow with big silver chunky heels. It's fine, whatever. And finally, her second outfit, again, came with the purse probably because it's only one piece, but this is a great piece. It's very detailed in the Amaya like hair coloring set. She wore something similar to this, but it was two pieces. Um, but I like the execution of this one with all the big thick gold kind of uh, belt buckle details. Uh, and again, the rainbow stitching. It's a white faux leather. I like this dress, it's really cool. 
Final thoughts, I really like the execution of these dolls. I think they effectively recreated the animated versions in three-dimensional doll form. And I think they're all really pretty. I was a little confused by the inconsistencies of what they came with, but overall I'm happy with them all, pretty much. But let me know your thoughts by commenting below.